Welcome back. Let's talk about the fourth and last class of antiarrhythmic drugs. These are verapamil and dilatizam. They work by altering both SA and AV nodes. The SA node will fire less frequently and the AV node will slow down. This increases the refractory period and the PR interval. They're mainly used to control the atrial fibrillation or atrial tachycardia. If they're used for ventricular tachycardia, they can cause myocardial death, especially if used for a long period of time. So make sure to differentiate between supraventricular tachycardia and ventricular tachycardia before prescribing these medications. Their main side effect is that they cause constipation, and this is very, very important to know. Because just like calcium sham blockers, digoxin can also decrease the AV node firing. So often in the exam, constipation can be the determining symptom between calcium sham blockers and digoxin. Remember, calcium sham blockers, constipation. They can also cause flushing and edema, and gingival hyperplasia, especially with verapamil. And here's a small quiz for you. Which of the following cardiac phases is representative of calcium sham blocker use? And here's the answer. Alright guys, that's all I have. Hopefully this helps. And thank you so much for watching.